Hi, this is Tom Larson from Tech Training for Teachers. Today we are taking a close look at Google Classroom and offering some best practice strategies to help with your classes. Let's get started. Make a point of reducing the amount of information that is visible on the stream. The less clutter, the less chance for confusion. To clean things up, head over to the class settings area and in the stream section choose one of three options. Show attachment and details, show condensed notifications, or hide notifications. With the last option, classwork announcements will not appear in the stream resulting in a far less cluttered environment. The less time students have to spend hunting for assignments and directions, the more time they can concentrate on actually getting their work done. Help them and yourself by assigning topics to your assignments. When in an assignment creation screen, click the drop-down menu under Topic. Pick a topic or click the Create Topic option to make a new one. To create a topic before you create your assignments, click the Create button and then choose Topic. Make it a standard practice to place material in a specific order. It will likely be most beneficial to have current or upcoming assignments appear at the top. To move a topic up or down on the classwork page, simply drag and drop or right click on the three dot menu and choose the move up or down option. One of the most helpful things you can do for your students is to provide clear instructions and expectations. Placing due dates on assignments is a great way to achieve this. It's not enough to make an announcement about when an assignment is due on the stream. Instead, teachers should add the due date to the assignment at the time of creation. This action provides a visual reminder to students including the class page, calendar, and classwork section. If you neglected to add a date to an assignment or need to change when it is due, simply edit the assignment and make the necessary adjustments. Neglecting to add dates to assignments could give your students the impression no work is due, so be sure to always include dates when posting. Waiting until the last minute to post your assignments is not good practice. A more thoughtful approach is to schedule your assignments in advance. Using this strategy, classroom teachers can plan their curriculum days or weeks in advance. The material only goes live on the day the teacher decides. While the instructor can see everything he or she has planned for class, the material only becomes visible to students when the release day arrives. This cuts down on confusion and helps keep things orderly and timely. While posts and comments in Google Classroom can be a great way for students and instructors to communicate in an open environment, there may be some occasions where this feature needs to be turned off for one or more students. You'll find this option in Classroom Settings next to the Stream options. Feedback tools in Google Classroom provide an opportunity for teachers to provide clarity and assistance as it relates to classroom assignments. You'll find feedback tools built right into G Suite apps. Simply enter a comment and it becomes visible to a student. Communicating with your students via feedback can both be done in private and public settings. To better serve your classes, be intentional about checking for student comments and then responding in a timely manner. To help you stay on top of this, be sure to install the Google Classroom mobile app and turn on notifications. You can customize what triggers a notification in your personal classroom settings. Save yourself time by reusing posts instead of creating all of your content from scratch. To do this, simply click the Reuse Post option on the Classwork page. 
Attaching decade-old documents created with PowerPoint or Microsoft Word can be the source of lots of frustration from your students. To ensure assignment materials work well with your students inside the G Suite environment, be sure to attach links or files created with Google Apps. The investment of time it may take on the back end to recreate certain older material will be worth it in the long run as you'll likely be dealing with fewer issues related to access and compatibility. Providing clear expectations and requirements for assignments is a helpful way to ensure students get work done correctly. One way you can do this is by using rubrics. On any assignment edit screen, you'll find a button for adding a custom rubric. You can create one from scratch or reuse one already created. Setup is simple and once complete, your students will know precisely how their submitted work will be graded and assessed. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via email. And if you enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe to this channel and sign up for notifications.